All right, this is just a quick video to look at how we can solve more complex um, algebraic problems to find what x is. So in this equation, if we were to say, what, do we, what is it we do to x? So if x was a number, what would we do to it to solve this, this part of the equation? So we would say, using bod mass, 2 times x plus 6, divide by 11 and add 7. So let's write those steps down. So it's the x that we're working on to start with. So x, we multiply it by 2, 2x. So we multiply that by 2. The next step would be add 6. Then we divide by 11. So this is all using bod mass, divide by 11. And then we add the 7. And that's just using simple bod mass working, if we're working out what x was. So we work in this order. So I'm going to write this order in the reverse, and this is how we're going to solve this equation. So we're going to start from the bottom and work up, and we'll do the opposite. So instead of adding 7, the opposite to add is subtract. So we subtract 7, divide by 11 is multiply by 11. It's worth writing this out rather than just trying to think about it. Plus 6, we take away 6. And times 2, we divide by 2. So here we go. We're starting from the bottom and working back. So minus 7. We take 7 from here and we take 7 from here. So we're clearly we're left with 2 on this side. We're still left with 2x plus 6 over 11 on this side. Let's see if I can write that out. 2x plus 6 divided by 11. Sorry, my writing's not great on this. The next step is multiply by 11. Let's change colour so we can see what we're doing next. So we're multiplying both sides by 11. So we multiply this by 11, and it gets rid of the 11 at the bottom. So we're left with 2x plus 6, and equals 2 times 11, which is 22. Now it's beginning to look much simpler on this side. So we've done this step, we've done this step. Now we're going to do this step, minus 6. So we take 6 from here, and we take 6 from here. Let me change colour so we can follow the next line. So 2x minus 6, uh, sorry, plus 6, take away 6, we're left with 2x. And on this side, 22 minus 6 leaves us with 16. And now we're up to, so that was this step, so now we're up to the final step. We divide both sides by 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2, and we're left with x equals 8. Okay, so that's the process of solving equations. It's important that whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you do exactly the same to the other side of the equal sign. This is straight relatively straightforward because there's only one number on the right hand side of the equal sign. We'll do a more complex one where there's things on both sides later.